Right, all right, all right, my, 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 Gemini, it is I, it is me, it is she, it is Vera, it is Scorpion, Red Tarot, I am back at it again, one time for the one time, yes, indeed, we're going to do some quick reads to find out what the energy is surrounding you for the month of September and love, we're going to get all the way into love, 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 yes, me, oh, Miss Pam, we do like green eggs and ham, so I want to give a shout out to all my OG, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my babies for coming through, like, sharing, subscribe, and then clicking this video okay you know before we do anything we're gonna give god his praise i'm not gonna do an extra long prayer but i'm just gonna still give him his glory because listen they don't know our story father god we just want to thank you so much for bringing us here collectively for the sign of gemini please give us the guidance that um the sign of gemini needs to receive to um help nourish and grow the love that they currently have or to help them call in the love into their life that they're seeking and desiring father god so we thank you so much for everything that you are and everything that you do in our life amen amen and amen hello all right, so let's get into this energy. Let's find out what's going on with my Gemini's in Lul. Let's find out what's going on with Gemini's in Let me see. All right, give me one more. Thank you. All right, so we got Surrendering. That came out in the reverse, though, and I'm definitely taking that shit in the reverse. And then you got the desire. Hmm. Why well, her um some type of late night love affair? Sneaky, creepy stuff I'm going on. Like you creeping, sneaking. Who's sneaking, creeping? Who creeping, sneaking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Cause you see all that darkness. So it's like there's some like visits at at night. There's some night visits someone's receiving. But it's like this girl is crying. This is giving me some type of marriage energy because you see the sun and the moon in the back. And you see this man is leaving. It's like someone ain't is not surrendering to a to someone's desire to not be in a relationship no more. It's like I don't want you to go. But it's like someone's having some type of late night love affair. What is this? Dece I'm trying to tell you deception. Seven of Swords. And it's like someone did something, they feel shameful about it. They feel shameful about it, but it's like they've been getting away with this shit. It's like somebody's... They haven't been caught. It's like you have not been caught red-handed. You see, you see that horse outside? It's like... No one has caught on whose carriage that is. So, I don't know if it's like... Whatever somebody is doing... Someone's doing some type of late night creeping, but they're so good at, good at it. It's like you don't see a vehicle, so you wouldn't think that the person is there, but it's somebody up in there. You just don't see the car. It's like that person put that shit down the street, across the road, over the back, flip a couple stacks. I don't know, but um, tch! someone is regretting some information. It's like they're hiding some type of information. Yeah, this this is this has something to do with a a, a a a marriage. This is like a committed relationship here. It's a ten of pentacles. I don't know if you guys stay with each other for financial security or something like that. I just heard we just don't get along. It's like we lying to ourselves. Or yeah, it's like we lying to ourselves. Someone's hiding something, like a, a a a big a big biggie. The nine of swords. It's some late night escapades. The queen of chalices in the reverse. I don't know. Someone could be dealing with a with a Taurus, Virgo, or a, um Capricorn. I just heard someone not bringing the money in like they supposed to. 
that and or not being a good mom because the queen of chalices is like someone has been stressing and worrying about some woman's behavior and again if this don't apply let it fly but the queen of chalices in is this the queen of chalices who is this This is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. I just heard cooking, cleaning, housekeeping. It's like someone's not doing it. It's like their mind is wrapped up. I want to say someone might be going through some like form of depression or something like that. Someone is sneaking around. And they're trying to keep it secret, but it's like the other one knows that something ain't right because it's like somebody ain't home. And, and again, I want to say someone's not bringing the money in that they're supposed to, even though that that's not the queen of pentacles in the reverse. I'm still going to take it. It's like, and I want to say someone has like, um. A very luxurious lifestyle or something like that. I'm hearing someone needs to do better homekeeping. Someone is too. And again, you got that black cat down there. It's some, it's some secrets, bro. Let me just, let me keep going. Tell me what's going on with Gemini. It's like, I'm not surrendering. I'm not leaving. I don't give a fuck what I was doing. And this motherfucker like, all right, I'll leave. Is this a cheating female? Why well, feel like this is a cheating female? I I I'm I'm going out on a limb, but I'm not. I, I honestly feel like it's like this woman does this shit with no remorse. It's like this woman don't have no remorse. Like she don't have no feelings, like. Like, she don't care. Like, somebody might have some type of low self-esteem or something like that. And them doing all of this sexual, sneaky shit, it makes them feel like something. But it's like, you hurting this man. Like, this, this, and I feel like this man is, is sneaking around just to keep up with you. Like, I don't even feel like this person wants to be doing that shit. Look at, look at him. It's like this man might have went and slept with someone too because she's doing it. But I don't feel like he really wanted to. And he's only doing it because she's doing it. And it's like, I feel like the both is not surrendering to a breakup. I want to say the female is creating a toxic home. It's the female doing this shit, y'all. I promise you it's the female doing this shit, y'all. The fifth dimension. Might have been some dreams. Look unawakened and rise above. Ugh, someone might have been having some type of dreams. What's going on? Because it's... It's like someone needs to elevate above this situation, but there's like a refusal to let it go. Someone's not surrendering. It's like I'm not ready yet. Someone just said, I don't want to deal with this pain. I don't want to deal with the upheaval. I really don't understand what I've done that was that fucking bad where you feel like you have to leave. a fucking narcissist it's like how do you have everything it's like this this woman has a nice house drive a nice car got a husband that suck the grapes out of your booty hole i mean like why are you doing this <laughs> why are you creating this nightmare with all of these secrets and and i, I don't get it I don't get it. And again, if this don't apply, let it fly. And if you don't apply, just sit around with me and just listen to other people's business. Because that's what the fuck I do. Okay, hello? Hello. Bitch, just like more. 
Okay. There. Two. Look, still looking. Neighborhood peeing or pussy. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, this. And I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. I feel like this is a woman. It's a woman. This was fate. You manifested me. Oh, this was this motherfucker's karma. <laughs> it was something that you done in the past and you thought you got away with it, but you didn't. You fell on your own sword, didn't you? <laughs> you rotten scoundrel, you. Did you fall on your own <laughs> Did you fall on your own sword? Did you get beat by your own kind? It was fate. You manifested me in a fifth dimension. In the desire of this queen of chalices in the reverse. I don't think whoever this person was knew what the fuck they were getting themselves into. I just heard this person is just like you. And I want to say extremely unawakened because I don't even think that this, this person is completely oblivious to their wrongdoings. They don't think they're doing anything wrong. I don't give a fuck if they're married or not. And because there's this marriage or something that's, that's here, it's like you don't want to dis dissolve it. It's like you're just trying to rise above and to still do what you got to do for the family. But it's a fucking nightmare. And y'all not trying to surrender to the shit. It's all of this... All of this shit going on in the background. The confirmation. I can't deal with y'all. It's too much. I couldn't do that. Like, I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. If I knew it was someone... Damn, I just heard it's like this person is getting what they deserve. You always get what you deserve in the long run. Remember that. You always get what you deserve in the long run. You you ran up on somebody that beat you at your own game. That's what the fuck that was. Give me one more. Something doesn't feel right. I feel like someone decided that they wanted to settle down and have a happy home, marriage, thought that they were in good company and everything. And once the once the seal, once the paint dried or the the ink dried on that wedding certificate someone started to show their ass you really got to see if this was a queen of cups in the upright or if this is a queen of cups in the reverse and you got the queen of cups in the reverse it's like this woman is not sure of herself and this could be a, a pisces cancer scorpio woman um, or it could just be the energy of a queen of cups in the reverse. The queen of cups in the reverse is someone that is not sure of their self. That really, um, like they might look in the mirror and think that they're ugly type of shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And their behavior is like a defense mechanism because of what they feel inside about their self. It's like someone with some type of low self-esteem or low value of their self. And it's like they're acting this way because maybe someone told, told them that they were ugly when they were younger. And they're like, I'm ugly, but my pussy don't <laughs> stay dry. So, I constantly got somebody in this pussy. No, but I'm ugly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you know, and this person is completely. And you see this big sword right here. It's like this is the. I'm just hearing it's like it's the truth. The truth is best served cold. You know what I'm saying? It's you're not gonna hear what you want to hear all the time. But is it the fucking truth? And someone here got what they deserve because they did. And here go. Look, when you finally want to lay down your sword and try to be a good person and act like a good husband and shit, that's when. You know what someone said to me a long time ago? Especially with that is it you you manifested me. 
You can't do shit to other people. You can't do shit to other people and think just because, because you know it's the Seven of Swords, they thought that they had slick, so they thought that they got away with it. You know what I'm saying? You got away with it in this realm. That don't mean the next person that you deal with that you're not going to eat your karma. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because one day you're going to fall in love too. And as soon as you fall in love, and I mean really in love, and you lay your sword down because you think you're comfortable. You done made your mind up. I want this. I want a happy, home, committed, solid finances, everything. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of this is money based. Honestly, I feel like if, if, if it was a different circumstances around the finances, this person might have actually got up and left. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of coming back and forth because of other children and financial obligations. But like I said, these motherfuckers are not happy. Someone goes to bed every night wondering what the truth is. What's really going on? This person is still out here. Still looking. Still fucking other people. So let's see what we got here. We got the Prince of Swords and the High Priestess. So yeah, there may be some... She said, I'm not telling you shit. I'm not telling you shit. Yes. Yes. There's going to be an argument, you guys. Because something don't feel right. Remember I told you something don't feel right. Something don't feel right. And like I said, it's like, remember this is like the spy card. Someone has been trying to find out if a car is going to, like they, they look to see if they see a familiar vehicle. And they drive by to look to see if they see a familiar vehicle. The vehicle is parked further down the street. They're not parking it. Or for a matter of fact, this motherfucker might be catching an Uber. There may not be a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be an argument because something don't feel right. There's constant arguments going on in this house. Because someone wants to know the truth about somebody's infidelities and, and sneaking around. And not only that, I think that there's issues in this house about someone's mothering. I think you're not taking care of the home. You're not cooking anymore. You don't. If you do, you're cooking some bullshit. It's like, I don't, it's like I don't even like your food. It's like someone don't like the food and shit. And that's not like a queen of cups. Like... A queen of cups is very nurturing and very loving, an overly affectionate person. Like this woman might might come home and don't give you affection at all because she all burped out from all her other sexual escapades that you don't even fucking know about. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Only thing I can say is, and I'm getting this very strongly, it's going to be an argument. It's going to go nowhere. This man is going to be aggressive. He's going to be like confronting the person. Wanting to know this. She ain't going to tell you shit. She's not surrendering to you. I don't give a fuck. What you want. You are her husband. So. She thinks she's smarter than you. She thinks that she can outsmart you. That she can outwit you. She really do. And you know how priestess she keeps shit hitting. She don't tell people what they want to know. She'll talk to you in riddles. And I could definitely see it's about the... I, 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 I don't... Mm -mm. I just want y'all to think about how this looks. You got all of this shit going on in the background. And I honestly think that people know what's going on. And someone keeps, instead of surrendering and just leaving, because the shit ain't cool, bruh. 
This shit ain't cool. I feel like this man got his karma with this woman for something that he did in his past. You were going to fall in love one day. It ain't get you now. When you did what you did, but it got you later. And this woman ain't trying to surrender to you. Like, normally it's a cheating bitch out here doing whatever the fuck you want to do. You know, the man want to leave. She'll probably be like, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Because she still got her pussy out in the street anyway, but she don't want to let him go. Y'all just want to keep rising above to make it work for the family while it's this going on on the inside. One keeping secrets. One about ready to fight. And it's and honestly, it's because shit ain't being done in the house. But anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> this is too much. This is taking me. This is spinning me. Y'all let me know down in the comments. If this is resonating with you. Do you know who these... Who are these people, bro? Because this is crazy. i never seen a female act like this before. This woman always got her leg out in the street... I gotta go. All right, love you, bye.